Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am sharing with you a what I eat in a day video. Um, I haven't done one of these in a really long time and so I thought I would share. I think these videos are fun to watch um, because I like to get some different ideas, different snack ideas, breakfast, lunch, dinner ideas, um, what other people are having because sometimes I get myself in a rut of eating the same things over and over again and I like to switch it up so um, it's kind of fun to watch these videos just to get different ideas and so I thought I would film one for you guys to share with you um, what I eat in a day to maybe help give you some ideas or or not just pure entertainment as well so anyways we're gonna go ahead and get started I hope that you guys enjoy all right so I'm getting my day started off with some coffee and this is the coffee that I am drinking right now. Um, if you're new to my channel, you already know this is the coffee I've been drinking lately. But um, I'm not necessarily going to be sharing with you all day today what I drink. Um, or everything that I drink anyways. But I did want to share this because sometimes my coffee turns into my breakfast. So I just I wanted to share this just in case I don't... <laughs> end up eating actually anything for breakfast we'll see but um this is how i get my day started most days so um yeah some coffee it is about 9 30 right now in the morning and i um did get hungry for some breakfast so this is what i'm having for breakfast this morning it is just toast peanut butter and bananas all right, it is about 12.30, so I am making myself some lunch, and I'm making leftovers for lunch, and I just have my chicken fajitas that I made um, in a dinner recipe. Um, I believe it was over a weekend vlog. I'm not sure if you've seen the video or not, but I just made um, some sheet pan chicken fajitas, and so that's what this is, and then um, I do have some extras, so if I am still hungry, I can make another fajita, but... I just have these two fajita shells. These are the fajita shells that I'm using here. Um, oh, can't really read. It is just these Mission brand flour tortillas um, in the fajita shells, the super soft kind. Um, and then on the bottom, I just have some sour cream. And then of course I have my chicken and fajita veggies with um, some shredded cheese. This is the shredded cheese I, I'm using. And then with some pico de gallo that I got from the store. And that is kind of all I'm putting on these um, for lunch today. And with my lunch, I am going to have one of these Alani new energy drinks. And this is the Witch's Brew flavor. And this is my absolute favorite flavor in the Alani new energy drinks. Um, so I'm going to be having that with my fajitas. All right, it is about 4 o'clock now, and I am going to just have a snack. For my snack, I'm having one of these Chobani Flips, the S'more S'mores. Um, this is my favorite flavor of this yogurt. Um, so anyways, I'm going to have this now for a snack. All right, so I'm going to be making some dinner now, and since I'm sharing with you a, what I eat in a day, I thought I would share with you the recipe that I am making tonight. And tonight I'm making keto cashew chicken. So to get started in a bowl, you're gonna to wanna to add your sauce ingredients, which is gonna be one tablespoon of chili garlic sauce, two tablespoons of minced garlic, two teaspoons of sesame oil, one teaspoon of ground ginger, and salt and pepper to taste. And then once you mix that all together, you're just gonna set that aside. You are then going to want to heat a pan on low heat and toast a quarter cup of cashews until lightly browned and then you're going to set those aside. Then to the same pan you're going to want to add that you cooked your cashews in, you're going to want to add two teaspoons of avocado oil to the pan and you're going to want to increase your heat to high and add one and a half pounds of chicken cut into chunks and then just cook them through. All right, so I just removed this from the heat so you could hear me because it's kind of loud. Um, but once you're cooking, you're cooking. Your chicken is cooked through. You're gonna wanna add one green bell pepper cut into chunks and one onion cut into chunks. 
And then um, you're also going to want to add your sauce and you're going to want to cook that on high for about five minutes. Okay, so um, once that has been cooking on high for about five minutes, you're going to want to add three tablespoons of liquid aminos, your cashews, and one tablespoon of rice vinegar to the pan. And you will cook until the sauce has thickened. Okay, and then you can top your um, cashew chicken with sesame seed and some green onion and then depending on if you are actually following like a low carb keto diet um, you can decide if you want to add a few more cashews to the top as well and then to serve with your cashew chicken again if you're low carb or keto you may want to choose like a um, cauliflower rice option or just like my husband, he's just going to have it plain tonight. And then um, if you're not keto or trying to stay low carb, you could add um, some rice with it as well. All right, and here is the final product. So here's what I'll be eating for dinner tonight. All right, you guys, so I am having a little after dinner treat, a dessert, a snack, whatever. Um, it is just a little bit after nine, about quarter after nine. And I am going to have um, just a few little scoops of this Haagen-Dazs caramel cone ice cream. This is so good. I know that this stuff is super expensive and it's like, what is this? A 14 ounce little container of this stuff. Um, but I do um, stretch it and make it last. So I do get like, I don't know, three, to four sometimes servings out of this um so anyways it is very good i highly recommend this ice cream um but this is what i'm gonna have for my little snack and then that's gonna be it for the day all right you guys i'm gonna wrap up this video here thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you guys all in the next one bye